afternoon youtube it's your boy leon and some cooler this is african geek like if you like the video subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel today i'm about to talk about the mcu week 16 movie you know what i'm saying spider-man homecoming the sony manifest yeah <laughs> you know the movie we've been waiting for since toby Maguire donned on the cape and stopped donning on the cape after spider-man 3 being they hate it as it is. I really enjoyed the hell out of this movie. Um, for Michael Keaton as the villain, very relatable, very grounded character. You understand his motive, which everybody can appreciate. To um, Peter Parker's vlog at the beginning of the whole movie, to Tony Stark mentoring him, being somewhat like the father figure. The MCU really likes dealing with a lot of daddy issue situation but it makes lovable stories if you know what i'm saying and of course tom harlan perfect casting probably one of the best casting outside chris evans and okay everybody's perfectly cast in this franchise though like i can't even shit on it with the casting it's perfectly cast to his love interest liz allen which ultimately he does mess up mess up her life but with good intentions overall i mean she was perfect she she seemed desirable for a teenage kid especially i mean even actress who plays it seems desirable for somebody my age you know what i'm saying and then you got to talk about his friendship with ned which was an interesting dynamic they're both kind of self-serving with ned wanting to use peter but also peter basically disregarding Ned because he was willing to just drop his whole life to be an Avenger until the end of the movie. Uh, then we got Zendaya's character. I understand why people find her likable. I mean, she was trying her best, but I feel like there was a shell. They were trying to make a complex character and kind of failed at it, but because people kind of are racist and the whole MJ thing freaked them out, but Alexandria. If you've seen my Greatest Showman review, you know how I feel about that girl. She's amazing. Um, Net, I mean, Flash. Flash was funny. He he was like the modern bully, if I'm saying. Like, mental warfare. He was just making Peter's life hell. But Peter was letting it. It was like child antics for him. He was thinking ahead. I'm an Avenger type of thing. The suit, yeah, the suit has so many cool gadgets from the whole fit to anybody's size feature and uh, i love how they made a lot of the shots pov made you feel like you're spider-man you know you, you were very immersed in the story which was amazing uh, the suit looks amazing let's be honest and i know they added some cgi to make it fit to look perfectly well to make the eyes move but it still worked for me i'm, I'm excited to see this character in civil war mj and not the mj uh Aunt May, <laughs> it drives too well. That's the problem. Aunt May, yeah. Aunt May is amazing. Melissa Tomain, I think her name is. Uh, she's very beautiful, attractive woman. Then they kind of make it so evident, like, yo, our Aunt May is fine, and we're gonna show that she's fine. We're just not gonna sleep on it. You know what I'm saying? And it's it, it it's a slight to see. I wish you explored her character more outside Peter, because it seems like. There's a history there. I know they don't want to do the origin thing, but they should have at least addressed it. Then you also got the Shaka 1 and 2. Also Donald Clover was in it. And one of the best jokes in the whole movie is like, yo, I'm just trying to stick up somebody. I ain't trying to shoot them back in time. That was a funny joke. Uh, Iron Man's into the movie was amazing, especially that scene where they were at the park Tom Holland using his baby voice. A lot of people watch straight on baby voice in this movie, which was funny, but it didn't understand them because they're 15. It gave it up to the director. He knew how visually stunning the, the last plane sequence would look as the lights lose control. Um, also, the fairy sequence where he's holding on, you know? Spider-Man always finds himself holding on to dear life. And it's amazing to see how they keep finding inventive way to do that. Another highlight was when Tony 
came out of the suit, there was also a moment like, you're not even here because the first time he wasn't and when he popped out of the suit and took the suit, but it made ultimately Spider-Man the better, better hero and you saw the new Avengers headquarters at the end and his new suit. It's just, it just makes you so hype about Infinity Wars, man. It's like a few days away now, like seven, eight days away. Nah, eight, eight, it's still Saturday for me, but I'm not posted like Sunday, so it's gonna be like seven days then. But amazing movie, I still give it an eight out of five because it still has that Marvel formula. It's too similar to Ant Man in a sense, but it's still a fantastic movie. Perfect cast. I'm excited to see everybody. I'm excited to see the sequel. Sony killed it. Hope Venom is attached to this. Ah, uh, deuces. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not. Like this video. If you are, thank you, you know, subscribe to my channel, but deuces.